Man, you said what? KD rap. Hold on. No, KD like DJ Quick. Hey man. man, why you ain't tell me you rap, ugly ass dude? Just dropped a voice note to to you know KD. The uh, DJ Quick, bro, he really told me. I, I asked That's him. Crazy. DJ Quick, word for word. <laughs> Woo. All right, everybody, this is your boy My Juan here at Dash Radio with I want to say like the. The son of Cleveland, the pride of Ohio, but nah, man, Doughboy, Free Bands in the house. How you doing, man? You said the son of Cleveland, the father of Cleveland. The man. father of Cleveland. Father, hey, man. man, nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. One thing I really respect about you is you really love Cleveland. I heard yeah, you in an yeah, interview yeah. say you love the Browns. Yeah, for sure. And I said, if you love the Browns, you really love Cleveland. No, I love, like, because that's me. Like, that's who I am. You're a real genuine cat, man. I watch a lot of your interviews, and you're the same person every time. For yeah, the last, for sure. like every time, every time I see you speak. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna start off with one thing, bro. How happy are you? Happy for OBJ? Hell yeah, I'm happy as fuck. It's like I'm 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 tore. I'm in a messed up situation <laughs> because I want him to win. Yeah. But in Ohio, you like, wish so it would have worked, right? Like, so it's like, it's just messed up. Like, but I want OBJ to win. Like, the Rams is my I new favorite that. team. You, you said this before the season started. Or early in the season, I saw you talking to Double XL. They asked you, and you word for word, you were like, OBJ's over there at the Rams now. I'm going for the Rams. You said yeah. they're going to win the whole thing. Yeah, and sure. they're one, they're five days away. Sure. So we're, we're doing this interview. Because the Bengals, I ain't going to lie, they shocked me. Because I didn't think they was going to be here. So I thought it was going to be easy for me. I <laughs> thought they were going to lose all their games, the Bengals. <laughs> Do you hate the they shocked the Bengals? Name. Right? No, I hell no, I don't hate them. I just thought maybe. I don't hate them because. There's beef, right, shit, between the Bengals Ohio. and the Browns. And ain't no, no, hell no, that's family. Oh, okay, okay. You know, it's Ohio. Anything Ohio, I'm standing with it. Well, what yeah, about when uh, when LeBron left? Were you mad? I was mad as hell at him. Right? Everyone was mad at him. I remember yeah, yeah. MGK. You remember Machine Gun Kelly? I remember his first viral moment was calling out LeBron for leaving the town. For real? I remember that. He put out a whole music video. It was pretty much like a fuck you LeBron video. Yeah, no. Nah, but then when he... Hear my feelings. Yeah, but he came back. He came back. How how stoked were you when, when you saw Cleveland win a championship? That was hard as hell. That was like the craziest shit ever. Like the way the city was... Like it was like really a parade. Were like, you there at the time, no, like in the city? I was, I was in Cleveland, but I didn't. I wasn't at the parade though. Okay, but no. You, matter of fact, damn. No, but if you were there, you experienced the energy in the air, right? No, but I wasn't there though. In the city though, like while they that, were. What winning, year was that? Uh, 15, 2015, twenty fifteen, I think. Yeah, I was in jail. Oh, crazy, yeah. crazy. Well, shit. Yeah. They, they held it down. They definitely held it down. Um, so, Doughboy, O'Reilly is out now. One of the most unique things about you is you're tied in with some of the dopest producers in the game. But you really lock in on your projects with the producer almost every time, I feel like. What goes oh. behind that? Like, you'll do a whole project with Southside, or you'll do a whole project, you know, with, like, a specific producer. I mean, I really, I really only... Like, on this project, I didn't lock in with a specific producer. Like, I got some of everybody on there. Like, oh, I felt like you recently had done a project with where Southside had done it. I did, I did it. an album with Southside, yes, definitely. Southside, Southside is like one of them people that I'm going to do that with. Like, so yeah, and you've known him since you were brother. 15, right? Yeah, that's my brother. Yeah, How yeah. did you get tapped in with him? Was that through the graphic through, through, design? Yeah, through Twitter. So you were tweeting that dude as a graphic designer. I, cause I'm like, shit, bro, let me give you some graphics, give me some beats. And it worked. Man, he had like 800 followers. Jesus. I How, caught him in. How did you know he was dope? Cause he did that Flocka song. I like. I used to love like anything. Brooks ten Clark, seventeen, right? Anything yeah. Anything ten seventeen. I loved it. So it's like, I was tapping in. So like motherfucking. I was uh. The, the Flocka got a song called "Let That Gun Sound," mm -hmm. and I feel me. I researched who did that beat. And they named Southside. I went and found him. Damn, bro, you a smart cat. You Speaking recent. 17, 10, 17, That's crazy though, cause that I've been with Southside since I've been out here. That's why I've been with every day. But it's like you know he got Wu the kid with him and shit like that, and mm -hmm. Wu would just be like. He just been telling me like, man, that's crazy, though, boy. You lit now. Yeah. Wu remember when I was feel me? Wu was like one of my. He was my favorite Brick Squad rapper. Though. Yeah, really, really, yeah, like, yeah. Feel me? And How it does that crazy. feel now to be? No, in it was room. crazy though, cause he riding around we, in my truck like we just, you know, he with me, been and I'm just like, damn, man, that's crazy for real. Right? It's Wu the kid though. Like, yeah, like ten years ago, you were yeah, looking up these dudes. No, for real, but I, your story is beautiful to me, man, bro, cause you didn't come off off no like. 
industry plan. There was no like you grinded your way into no, the game. I, I, you yeah, paid for your first step. project. You paid for your every first step. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I knew what I gotta do. So I got a gift I want to give you, based off yeah. your story and your hustle. This is a hard album. I give an album to every artist I meet or every artist I interview. I wanted to Ooh, give you, you hard for that. that get rich or die trying. Hey, I had to give you that fifty. Hey, he hard for that. I gave him that get rich or die trying, bro, because. Y'all supposed to be goddamn getting this. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be goddamn bring your ass on in. Don't worry, we got this on camera. Yeah, but still. <laughs> hey, so let's talk about, I feel like you, you really watched the way he moved. That's hard. He just gifted me the. The get rich or die trying. What? It's in there. So you, because you really moved calculated. Yeah, like, everything like, is calculated. Everything's calculated. When I look at where you're at now, from tweeting to Southside, to the guest features on Oh Really Bro are nuts. Like, yeah. it's it's like every artist that's hot right now is on the project. If you matter in these red man, <laughs> you wouldn't get them on no sure. That's what's so crazy to me, is you move so calculated in your career. Like, every every artist has, like, quiet time, but not really for Doughboy, you know? Like, minus when, you know, you've had, like, legal issues besides that you're out here consistently growing consistently dropping too why do you work so hard though boy like uh, you're 28 now you got money you I'm can 27. go 27 my bad don't, don't do me i know after 25 I right i'm 28 man. I'm already, oh, man, I'm and already then you're two years like from 30 i just turned man, 30 that oh shit God, sucks I wanna be 21 again. bro my 30th birthday the worst man. day of my life but what what's your motivation? Why has Doughboy been going so hard? It almost seems like you're going harder now than the last few years. What's what inspires you still? Cause like you know, it just nigga just go through so much shit and there's so much going on in, in real life. Mm. So it's like shit, nigga. I got I gotta do this. Like yeah. Like even even like I ain't gonna lie. Like when I first like even after I signed my deal, like a nigga like way, I ain't gonna say I got comfortable. I never got comfortable. Cause I always, I keep recording. Like I always never, I'm always gonna rap. Like I always make music. I know yeah. that's important. Like all this music and shit that I've been, like oh really, that shit that I've been recording. Like I'm sure 2019, been, 2018. But it, yeah. it's just like my hustle. Like I, I like wait, I like wait, chilled out for a second. Like mm. nigga got all that fucking money. I like yeah. shit. Like, you know, it just, it just happens well, though. Did something happen that, that, that sparked you to get back on your be, shit? Yeah, because it'd be like shit. It'd be certain situations like, See, a motherfucker be having to realize, like, nigga, I'm turned, but I could be way more turned. Like, mm, yeah. Like, like even certain, like, I, I go back to my city, and I just look at, like, certain of my niggas' living situations and shit like that. That shit made me, like, you know, I got to go crazy. Yeah. I got to be able to do this and that and that. Like, nigga, see, I want all my niggas riding around this bitch like this, like that, that, that. That's what's crazy is the, like, the bigger you get, the more people who are going to kind of fall under that umbrella that, like, yeah, you take like, care of them. Because I, I feel like I want to, I want to, it's the way I want to do my shit, like, feel me? Yeah. I want to be, like, the biggest, like. Well, and look who, look who your big brother is. Your big Bo is motherfucking Future Hendrix. Yeah, for sure. So for you, I feel like you see that, you see how big an artist can be, more exactly. than just the music. Yeah, hell yeah. So future man, I know I one of my one of the cool things I saw you said was some cool advice he gave you was never quit. Yeah, for sure. Right? What about yeah. has he said anything else to you? A any other like dope advice you remember? I feel like he's a walk in just quote. Like he just really? gives out everything he says. No, nah, this dude will really he really like a character. Like he like a myth, like a like whatever you think of him is like it's crazy because this nigga is like a rare person. Like. Yeah. Like when you see how he move and is in real life, that nigga different. Like ain't nobody like him in the world. Nah, and that's why his uh, mystique has lasted. And like a lot of art, a lot of people have tried to recreate the sound, but you can't recreate the persona, nah, the yeah. vibe. So Doughboy, how did you get tapped in with the future and for rebands? I hate that question. I know you probably get asked it every time, oh huh? Oh my God. I can't stand that fucking question. Well, I've been asking that question for 10 years. Okay, let's skip it then. So what I was gonna ask you No, next, but it's cool though, but you stream. No, no, I'm not like, well, what the reason I asked you that is what what's gonna be, like, have you already started to put on other artists? That's what I really I wanted to get to, because yeah. Future Southside have had the, like they kind of, you know, or you were on Southside fucking at eight, 800 followers, but 
have you started to extend your hand out now to like young homies, young artists? Yeah, hell yeah. Like who? For sure. Like, shit. All, all my like anything in the city. Like I've been, I've been like doing shit. Like I just wake up one day. I done did a competition before. Like I let uh comment who the hardest rapper from the city. Whoever comment name get the most comments. Uh, that's I did a song with him. I done did that. Gave him this song. Did a feature with him. Did the video. All that. Shit like that, I do. I've been did that. Like, I okay. do shit like that all the time. I always uplift everybody. I always post all the many music. Like, that's dope, yeah, man. That's because yeah, yeah, yeah. anybody from Cleveland the needs it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, hip hop yeah. wise, you know, I almost got you a Bone Thugs album just because they're from the town. But I knew 50 Cent was such a big inspiration. I almost gave you uh, the Easy E Eternal 1999, like the yeah. first Bone Thugs album. Yeah, you did the right thing. All right, good to know, good to know. So I got some of your tweets I want to pull up. Is it okay? Tweets mm -hmm. and Instagram posts that I kind of want you to like elaborate on what was going through your mind or what that day was like. Because you've had some interesting moments online. Yeah. So I got a couple tweets and a couple Instagram posts. This cracks me up. Valentine's Day around the corner. Doughboy said, Valentine's the worst day, got too many to please. Do you uh, just have to buy dumbass amounts of gift on Valentine's no, Day? No, I was actually quoting Future. Future, really? He got, oh. a, he got a single about to come out. Uh, he got a single come out. He just posted the trailer today. Okay, okay. Called Worst Day. I thought, oh, I was quoting him. shit. That is some future shit that he would make yeah. us realize. Okay, I thought maybe you had like four or five girls that you had to take care of Valentine. Uh, but low key, <laughs> that's a future <laughs> lyric. That's a future lyric. Look, okay. It's a future lyric. No. Okay, I hate when I get mad because everyone can die, including myself. What did you mean about that? You said I hate when I get mad because everyone can die. So I got to switch myself. that bitch. Go like this, boom. And then I don't put on nothing. I see red, all red. I don't care what's going on. When I get like that, I get like that. Oh, so that's why I, be trying to I see what you're saying. So yeah. you're talking about when you get mad when you read out. Like, yeah, like anyone I don't give a fuck about it. nothing. Like, oh, like shit. some of the shit out of the, like, nigga, you'll be like, hey, no, dude, like, wait, a mental patient. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You mentioned no, it that real. one of the biggest misconceptions of you is people think you're just, like, really mean and really scary dude. But I'm not. I know, and I've experienced it exactly. just from like yeah. you walking in the building. Yeah, I was cool as fuck. Why right? did I walk in like everybody just think I'll just. I validate it. Cool as hell. But I get why people assume that. Doughboy, you're from Cleveland, you know, you served your time. Like, so, you, the music but, says one thing, you know? See, it's, 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 it's like, it depends on, I go off vibes. Mm. Like, if the vibe good, I'm gonna be happy. Okay. If the vibe wrong, then I'm gonna be on that. Yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. I just go off the energy in the building. Like, okay. whatever's going on, wherever I'm at, I just adapt to what's going good on. Good thing I did good, man, because I might have yeah. been one of these motherfuckers that can die. You know what I mean? All right, I got there three is. Instagram posts. You were fresh out on bond for a robbery, and Draco was the yeah. first rapper to let me in his house. I respect it. So, yeah. Drake, uh, Drake, Soldier Boy was the first rapper you linked with when you got out? Like, um,. That's when I first started blowing up. Like that's after I really, really signed with Future and really started like the soldier was one of the first niggas that was, you know, he'd be on that shit. He mm -hmm. reached out, like he was one of the ones. Wow. That was fucking with me. And so, so right when I you went got to LA. He okay. had me come to his spot in LA. He let me stay at his condo. That spot right there. I wow. stayed there with him for a couple of days. That's what was that like? Is that experience like nah, that? that was hard as fuck, cause the, the soldier boy. He's like, just loud as hell. Right? Motherfucker, like, you know? Did he just wake up screaming? No, nah, he don't. He ain't I imagine he's like, I'm the first rapper to make AIDS. Nah, Soldier cool as hell. Soldier I know, just started no. doing all that. Yeah. Okay, because he been here and he's, we loved him. Soldier yeah, was nah, the coolest Soldier, dude. Soldier, Soldier, Soldier just said that everybody got fucked up. So he's yeah. just taking off. But Soldier be chilling. Okay, Soldier that's cool. that's crazy. Now, when you got out, was he waiting to get a hold of you? Was it one of those things like your people were like, yo, 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 he's been when trying to get out, a hold of um, you? Me and Soldier, man, like, it, 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 it took a little second for us to link back up and shit, but. We actually okay. get, we did a hard ass song together too called Shave on that bitch and damn. It never came out? Came out. I didn't really put damn, yo, Soldier, you told you told me that when Kanye didn't drop the Robocop remix, you were hot. <laughs> well, we don't drop Shade Room. I'm gonna be hot, Soldier. We gotta get Shade Room out there. Yeah. Alright, we got two more Instagram posts. Them boys turnt, congrats to Buccaneers. Oh yeah, they was in the uh, locker room after they won the uh, Super Bowl playing my shit. Jamming to your shit. So as a big sports fan. 
what was this moment to you? Like watching the the dudes just fucking their whole everything well, they work hard for. That nigga now. That's hard. Your that shit. type of shit hard. Like, how did that make you feel though? Like, like I'm that nigga. Like, right? Like, was that nigga. like a? I imagine it'd be like an outer body experience. Where you're kind of. I ain't like, gonna say all that. I mean, it's yeah. just shit like that is regular to me now. Like, Damn. Like it's like it's like because you know I don't I don't got them. LeBron James and got them just that's, went viral singing my shit. That's and the got next them. So it's like shit. Hold like, on, hold it's on. It's like regular to me. Let's now. pull this one I up. I respect it. I love it. Exactly. Yeah. It's sure. up. Can't that nobody was, tell me. You said can't nobody tell me shit. Because you're you from see, Cleveland. You see in my yeah, go. So this was, to me, this had to have been a defining moment for your career because he's that LeBron. Changed my life. He's who you grew up to a certain extent. That played a big part in a lot of life. I'm, it's LeBron James. I wouldn't be the same. I feel the same way. You can't tell me shit if I would have had this happen. Now, have you chopped it up with the goat himself? All the time, boy. What do you mean? You, you and Braun are just cool like that? My nigga. Damn. My, I was just dropping. You see, he posted it. I know, I know. So listen, man, I'm a so, Celtic fan. Can you tell Braun to retire, dog? Man, He's killing tell me. Paul Pierce to calm that shit down <laughs> for a smack dude. Hey. He's an Inglewood. You find him yeah, down the block. Yeah. Bro, he got I a hookah bar down bro, the block. I catch up with him telling my city. I hope you see it. Nah, listen, man. Tell I'll... Paul Pierce I said it. <laughs> Paul Pierce is my favorite NBA player Fuck ever. Me. I love Ohio, Paul. Nigga. I love Paul. So, okay. So, you do you like when you drop or when you make music, do you send it to LeBron and have him listen to it I before gave it drops? Early. Really? And do yeah. you, what, what, what he says back to you, does that carry weight? Like if he says, yo, this isn't good or it's it slaps? LeBron James. I know, but he's you not a musician. Was, uh, him and Kevin Durant, they're my niggas. Like. KD, I know, raps. DJ Quick told me KD. KD rap? DJ Quick told oh, me KD me is the best rapping athlete he's ever met. Man, you said what? KD, KD raps. Rap. Hold on. No, KD, like, DJ Quick. Hey, me. man, why you ain't tell me you rap, ugly ass dude? Just drop the voice note to, to you know, KD, the uh, DJ Quick, bro, he really told me. I, I asked That's him. That's crazy. DJ Quick, word for word. <laughs> this was back in 2010. So this was like when KD was young in the game. I know he used to roll with like Dave East. So I know he was like really about it. Dave East recorded in KD's home because he had a I never knew studio. that is. Yeah, Dave East. I fuck with Dave KD. East too. That's my name. Yeah, Dave East could ball. So those you know, are your. Katie, you ain't see when Katie, when I when I post my album cover, you ain't see coming on that bitch, take me on those ass. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, that bitch been going but viral. I felt like the LeBron moment to me had to have been the fucking trippiest thing for you because that means LeBron, bro. It's Cleveland's, yeah. just the, you know, the dude in Cleveland. So I want to give you some gifts we got over here from Cookies and Maywood. Sure. I know you be smoking a little bit. No, I don't. Just no, you don't smoke weed. I actually don't smoke weed. This is actually the most fascinating piece of information. I don't know why I just, I I'm really, a dickhead. I don't I, smoke weed. I, I, I think because the you name. You did me a favor because, goddamn, everybody around me smoke weed and they be on my there ass. There we go. Shout out to Thank Cookies you. and Maywood and Appreciate the it. homie Buzz for the gifts. Yeah. Doughboy. So you've been a busy cat, man. You've had a you've had a hell of a run. Like, just not even, no gimmicks. I just got a new, uh, some news, man. We just went number one on Billboard Heat Seekers, man. You know, number one. And I just dropped the number three album in the world. For real, for real, that bitch really went number one, too. Cause What's beautiful is that but prior to this, your record with Uzi was like the one time you've seen billboards and charting. I remember you mentioned nah, that. It, 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 it was, uh, it did on Apple Music. Apple Music, okay. it was the first like time I had a single get into the top 200 on Apple Music. And now you got a project in there. Now I, I got a, all my projects always been in Apple Music, like top 10. Oh, like, from like, from when I came home, like, I'm talking about, nigga, I really climbed, like my, one of my first projects that landed in the charts, it was 173. Then my next one was like, uh, like 56. Then I went to like 25. Then I went to like 20. Then number nine. Now I went number three. Woo -hoo -hoo. It really was just number one, for real, for real. Yeah. But uh, Gunna and YB just blocked my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough time, bro. They Gunna and like I do. When I seen that announce that shit, I'm like, oh my God, man. I just had it. I had the number one. Hey, number one, man. Hey, at least you got something to strive for the next <laughs> one. You know what I mean? Oh, I'll come right back. Don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, come. Don't so, worry 2022, about it. what's in store? Doughboy. I don't know, man. The world in my hands right now. Really is. I'm about to go on one of them runs, though. I'm about to apply pressure, pressure. Okay. You so remember you got... back when Pluto was like when, on 2015? Yeah. Yeah, when he went, when he did all, yeah. 
2015. You about to have one of them years. You about to release like every quarter. I'm about to take it there. Hell yeah, Doughboy man. I was really excited to talk to you. Let's let's make something clear for all the artists at home. There's a lot of artists at home who are waiting to get put on. Hey, gang, gang, gang. So there's a lot of artists at home, right, Doughboy, who are just like waiting to get put on, waiting. What advice do you got for these lazy ass cats? Cause you didn't, you didn't wait. Boy, you gonna be a sitting duck. Wait to get put on. You ain't never getting on. Tell you right now. Cause Tell you, you put yourself on. What? You were sitting there messaging Southside. What? I still do it to this day. Are you still doing graphics? Are you still doing No, I ain't gonna say outline? I do graphics, but I'm oh, just okay. saying like certain shit, like, like, I'm a fucking, I'm efficient. Like, I'll goddamn, I'll be on niggas' ass. Like, like, in a good way, though. Like, motherfucking, like, I, I, I talk to the people, like, like, even, like, motherfucking Apple Music. Like, my nigga Zini. Like, he's somebody, like, you know, rappers be acting like they too good to talk to these type of people. I'm talking mm -hmm. to them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are the people that's behind the scenes that's really making this shit happen for Ab niggas. Like, absolutely. So, you gotta appreciate them type of people. I'm the type of nigga, I'm, what's up? And then he pull up to my, he pulled up to the studio. I played in my album early. That he goes, with that bitch. bro, that hey, goes that a bitch long right way. Because you know that shit is what's going on. He know that shit hot. Absolutely. But you got to fuck with people, though. Like, that's just how I am, though, with 100%. anything. Not even just that. Like, I fuck with anybody who can. Yeah, even like this moment. If I come in tomorrow and the dude who programs all the hip hop says, like, yo, what's new? What should I hear? You can be one of the first things that comes to mind. I'm like, yo, how many records do we have off? Oh, really on there, you know? Yeah. So I think you're you're right to do that. Actually talk to everyone, never treat anyone lightly. So, so that's your advice to the young, I always like to say the young you lazy work. ass rapper. You gotta out. work. You gotta work. And you gotta you gotta get it done. Like, mm -hmm. Cause it's not gonna fall in your lap. If you don't do it, it's not gonna happen for you. Yeah, like Southside wasn't gonna DM you asking exactly. you for art. So are you still doing art? Cover Hell art or anything? Hell. How much would it cost? How much would someone have to pay to have they you do need, a cover art? Ten bands. Ten bands. Yeah, nah, an artist will do it. Yeah, I, no, someone's gonna pay you. All right, nah, ten really bands. Gonna shit like that. We're gonna put it out there now. The price right now is ten bands nah, for, sure. for Doughboy you know, to do your talking, cover art. Be doing shit like that, Chief Keef. Like that's really? why I've been, been chopping it with Chief Keef a lot lately. Like he into shit like that. Like that's the type of shit he be. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you said something cool in an interview once where someone was like, they were trying to have you not gangster rap, right? Like they were telling you. It's so sad ass. Right? But if no more than you a kid. And then you saw Chief uh, Keep. So sad, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I ain't listened to his ass. No, nah, but I really? think in a sense, because you don't come off like the traditional he was, he gangster was right, rapper. Though. I, no, no, because at the time it wasn't okay. Mm. But I never, I always gangster rap though. And yeah, I never yeah. stop. I just well, it's just you. Up. That's the thing. But then it took it took for a nigga like Chief Keith to like, feel me? He kicked the doors down for real. So he yeah. made it cool to be able to. They accepted kids doing it. Yeah. They ain't accepted when I was doing it. I mean, I guess you feel me. But it's shit. He just had he that moment, the doors bro. Down yeah. Made, you know? That don't like when don't when don't like hit and Kanye put sure. that on that good music album. It was it was out of here. So don't worry. You really bout it. Hundred percent real. No caps in your raps. I appreciate. All the game you brought, you know what I mean? Just even reading your story, I was hella inspired. Like, this motherfucker really put himself on. You know, like there's a lot of artists who, you know what I mean, got connection, all the so-and-so sign. Nah, you put yourself there, man. That's a dope thing, man. So this year, you're just gonna have a run. You got more tapes coming, singles, projects. I imagine there's gonna be some big names. Oh yeah, you know how I'm coming. I imagine we're gonna see Doughboy next to Moon, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, you damn. know how I'm coming. I, I don't play fair. Are you still, uh, is Babyface Ray still your favorite artist to work with in the studio, or has that changed? I said what I said. Yeah, still? I love rapping with Face. That's what's Me and Face got hella shit, dumb shit, hard. Y'all gotta do a tape. Crazy. I'm sure eventually. That's just... what we, I mean, that's what we was always working on. Like, Hell yeah. It's just gonna, when his time is right, we gonna do it. Like, yeah, yeah. No, but it, it just make it so much, because he going up, I'm going up, like we just like, you know? Yeah. When we glide, oh, it's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be dope. The so, fans the want one. it for sure. Definitely. For sure. So, Doughboy, thank you so much for coming through the Dash Radio. Oh, really? Out now. Um, we got more on the way, too. Shit, it's going to be a busy year. So, definitely come back to Dash. Yes, tap in. Doughboy, where can we find you online? Social media. Oh, really? Everything. Just type it in. Oh, really? Somewhere. Oh, no, I meant you oh, online. Okay. Doughboy. Oh, really? You're Doughboy oh, really? on everything. Type in, oh, really? I'm going to pop up. Oh, I fuck with that. You said type in, oh, really? I'm going to oh, pop really, up. Man. 
My response to that is, oh, really? No, oh, I'm really? playing. That was the corniest joke I've had all week. Doughboy, thank you so much, man. Just, uh, it's your boy, yeah. Maiwan, Doughboy, Free Vans. Go check out Oh Really right now. We out. Oh. Hey, man, why you ain't tell me you rap, ugly-ass dude? Hey, man, fuck you. You niggas want to be a prop, nigga. Fuck out of here, bro. Just sit your ass uh, courtside somewhere and, and, and enjoy the weekend, nigga. They want to join in. You just want to get on TV, man. <laughs> <laughs>